Okay, so Windows 11 has just had an update to support iPhones and uh, I'm gonna try out iMessage on my Raspberry Pi 4 8 gig. So first up, we need to head to the App Store and do a search for Link to Windows. And hit Get. I need to restart this, now it should have all the updates. Okay, so now my iPhone, I'm gonna click on the Link to Windows app and then it says Scan QR Code. So I'm looking for an app called Phone Link and it's there and it looks like it needs an update so we'll let it do that okay so that version of windows didn't like the updates that i'd given it it became very very slow and buggy so i've done a clean install with an insider version the very latest insider version available so let's give this a try okay so after several installs i've finally got a version that's working it seems to be that if you apply the updates it breaks the install of windows 11 so what i've done is turned off updates and I've just installed the PhoneLink app from the Windows Store because the version that comes with it only supports Android. So if you've updated it to the latest version, you get these two options, so Android and iPhone. So I'm interested in trying the iPhone bit as it's new. So I can scan the code on my iPhone and open and scan the QR code again. Continue pairing with Bluetooth. Link to Windows would like to use Bluetooth, so OK. And I've got a pairing request, so I'm gonna say pair, and say pair on here. So let's accept the Bluetooth. Open Bluetooth settings on your phone and find Lee and tap the... So we need permission, so I've got to open Bluetooth settings. Oh, allow. Ah, I can see Lee is there at the top. Let's go with notifications, sync contacts. So that's probably enough. Let's go back into that app, link to Windows. And if I open Bluetooth settings on here, so it says iPhone connected 100%. That's cool. And that's just got remove device. So let's go back into that phone link, get started. So it still thinks it needs permission. Turn on share system notification to view your phone's notifications on your PC. Let's close the app and start it again. Still doesn't think it's connected for some reason. So let's go back into Bluetooth. So I've got show notifications, share system notifications is turned on and sync contacts is on. Yeah, so all of that looks fine. So let's close this. Definitely says it's connected here. Let's send myself a message. So I'll send morning from my iPad using a different iCloud account. Oh, here we go. So messages has come up on here, so it is working. And I've got, why have I got 11 notifications down here? Welcome to messages, send and receive messages from your PC, select next to learn more. Group and media notifications will notify you of incoming group, image, and other media messages. These will not appear in your messages list. Sync your messages. Your message history and any messages sent from your iPhone will not sync on your PC. Okay, so this is basically my iPad here. So if I send a message to my iPad, iMessage from Windows Raspberry Pi. And have we got emojis as well? We have. Don't recognize most of these from my phone. Right, let's just put that one in and send it. So that's sending and it's arrived on my iPad. Okay, see so it works and I can see my contacts are there. I'll blur them out. Uh, seven, oh, the, so the, the 11, so seven of those are calls. Yeah, and it's got a log of the calls, messages. So what happens if I try, can I call my home number? So let's ring that. I don't know how this is going to work because I my Pi hasn't got any microphone or anything. Oh yeah, connect your phone and your PC, make sure your phone is nearby. Okay, so I didn't like that for some reason, but to be fair, I haven't got a microphone, haven't got headphones connected to my Pi at the moment. But it looks like calling is an option. So if we go back to messages and can we click on the phone here? We've got a phone icon, but it doesn't seem to do anything if I click on it. Uh, here we go, Bluetooth connected, 99%. I've got a notification here, uh, which would have been on my phone uh, from Tesco's, the supermarket. Well, it seems to work. So let's close all this down. So if I was using Windows normally, so let's just go to Amazon. 
So if I send a message from my iPad Mini 2, let's see how quick it comes up on the Pi. My watch has pinged. And the notifications come up. I message from iPad Mini 2, and that's the message I sent. Yeah, very good. So if I click on reply, uh, thank you. And it comes through on my iPad Mini 2. Yeah, impressed with that. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.